Thanks for joining us post-match here at Hillsborough. What are your initial takeaways from tonight's defeat? Well, frustration, of course, again. Um, seems to be a common theme over the last three games. Um, I thought we generally dominated the game, um, created probably double the chances they had. Um, yeah, a lot of play around their boxing in their final third and yet found a way to lose 2 0. So, frustration is the, the biggest um, feeling I've got. Disappointment for the supporters who travelled again in big numbers. Um, just our inability to score goals, creating lots of chances and um, not taking enough care around the final third, whether that be with the, the final cross or the final finish. We have to be more clinical and we have to keep working and training at that every day. And um, I don't want to make excuses and yet we've been trying to develop their possession-based game. Um, and maybe we've neglected the finishing drills and, and yet I've, as I've just said to them there they have to have a culture at the football club where after the main training session finishes strikers, midfield players have to stay back and practice, practice, practice and um, and if you practice good habits generally they pay off and you will start seeing more goals going in so um, yeah listen we're chipping away at this block and, and, and um, I feel as if there's things aren't too far away from being pretty good and yet you know it's hard to say that when we've just lost 2-0 away at Sheffield Wednesday uh, a game that we came here to win and dominate and um, and yet we found a way to lose. In contrast to all the chances that you talk about being created two goals conceded is there any particular annoyance at the way that they went in? I, I, the first time they got near our box I would have to say I don't know when the first goal went in 15, 16, 17 minutes or whatever it was literally the first time they'd been within 30 yards of our goal and they score first, first attack it's um i haven't watched it back yet I've, i was frustrated at half time with them it's um i know jan Pervader danced around somebody got the byline cut it back it's um we have to be better more aggressive we have to be tighter and closer and, and that's things i preach and work at but I don't want to sit here and, and criticise anything particularly because I haven't watched that goal back as I stand here in front of you. But um, yeah, it's mm -hmm. so we'd like to keep clean sheets every week, and yet we're trying to dominate football matches and we're trying to create lots of chances and score goals and win games. It's um, it's really difficult to, to to stand here and just say, "Oh, the defenders didn't do this very well," or "The strikers didn't do that very well." I'm not here to criticise. I'm here to give them belief and confidence and and uh, keep going and talk about the the positive things that they did tonight. Um, and yet, the reality is, when the games come around, we have to find a way to win. Um, looking forward to getting back home and playing some games at home in our own stadium with our own fans. Uh, it's been four four trips on the road. It's never easy to build momentum um, when you you know you're playing Leicester City and West Bromwich Albion two teams who were currently in the top six we came here to thinking we could definitely win this game tonight against a team in the bottom three and yet we've uh, we haven't been able to do it and so let's move on to the next one some big games coming up and ones we have to you know find a way to win I'm sure we will and as you mentioned it is back to St Andrews now after nearly nearly a month yeah. of games on the road and back-to-back -back home games as well that could be a real positive yeah looking forward to it I, listen, the, I, I, I talk to them honestly and openly in the dressing room I'm not a shouter and a screamer I, I tell them what I think um, we have to stick together we have to fight together um, I talk about soldiers and artists maybe maybe too many artists on the pitch because I want to create chances and dominate Sometimes in these away games, maybe I should have left a, a Bakuna out of the out, out, or maybe a Dembele out, you know, it, and, and put another honest, hard-working footballer in. And yet, I want the team to to have the individual quality and class that can win a game. And and you think back to Stoke game away from home, Bakuna bending one in the top corner. Them players can win your football matches, and and yet. That's, that's why I always talk about. I want them to particularly to be the hardest workers and the most honest players on the pitch as well if they can and um, and I think that, that that message has to keep dripping into them. And just continuing to reflect on this run of away games we've had, the last three in particular seem to have followed 
a similar pattern in terms of number of chances created and just obviously not being able to put the ball into the back of the net. Is there learnings that you can sort of glean from those matches? Well, it's great that we can create so many chances away from home, more than the opposition in every in, in all of them games. Um, what do we have to learn? We have to be more clinical. We have to be, I, I call it, take more care. They're all good footballers. They're all professionals. They've all grown up as little lads who became professional footballers because they were good. They have to, they have to take more care and hit the target, pick the man out in the box, cross it into a space where we can score. All them little things, the fine details, they have to get better and focus and concentrate on. And just lastly, I know you mentioned he, he was he was a doubt, but no Alex Pritchard in the match day squad tonight. Is there an update on him going into the double header at St Andrews at Nighthead Park? Well, listen, we we can't take a chance on him. What I'm saying, if it's a calf injury, it's a calf injury, and um, the medical department will tell me when he's ready and available to come back on the grass. It's it's okay. The manager's saying, oh, I want Pritchard to play. Mm, I don't want him to play if he if he tears his calf and he's out for eight weeks. It's um, it's not a torn calf out for eight weeks it's a slight strain and we'll decide when we gamble or take a chance that he can train and, and, and give it a go on the pitch thank you for your time all right thank you